Unexplained phenomena occurred at Gracewood Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breaking neck speed over the cornfields. The lights moved in a random direction at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under the windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception, drawing attention to oneself, or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Gracewood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Why did I decide to come in the middle of the night? Oh. Oh, look at that. This is great material for a news report. Sherman's house. And let's see if Peter Sherman is at home. Hello? Hello, Mr. Sherman. Are you out here? Probably just a random animal. Oh, a note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Huh. Okay. Mr. Sherman, hello? <gasps> Phone of the hawk. Hello? This old newspaper has informed about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Could sit down for a cup of tea. A cup of chai will always calm our nerves. Okay, before we go upstairs, let's have a look into here. Hello? Okay, we cannot get in here. Mr. Sherman, hello? This is Mr. Fox. <gasps> Ooh, I don't like doors that open towards me. Right, this must be Mr. Sherman's bedroom. What happened here? Wow. Oh, they printed photos. I thought he made the photographs. Photos from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. Okay. Wow. Well, that looks certainly creepy. See if there's any more clues we can find here. There's a video playing of aliens. Okay. I suppose it's time to go. There's no more room. See, oh, there's another room here. Is that his daughter's room? It must be. It's a little ducky. Some toys. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Look at that. The child saw something. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The leaf is painted on both sides. Oh no. The dog killed itself. Or maybe the alien killed it. There's blood on the alien's hands. That is not good. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. 
Oh, we got a radio. A walkie-talkie? Can we use it? Property of Megan. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. It's like a cricket. Okay, we're looking for Megan. Oh, there's another note in the farmer's bedroom. I've learned a lot about those things. They're called the Greys. They're not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described into the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs, and sharp claws. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have those nosebleeds, have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses, periods, when they don't remember anything. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places, for example, in the middle of a field or on a road, a few kilometers away from their home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The alien established control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During palpitation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Wow. Okay. Is there any other notes here? There's a book. I found my old diary. How could I forget that? Wow. He found an old diary when he was 15. How could I forget that? Today was the most exciting, scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was defendant deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights. Our windows, our, our windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze. There is even zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Oh, oh, what is that noise? Oh, wow! Where is that coming from? What is happening? Oh! Crap. Holy shiznitch. Now we have a flash torch. Okay, what was this? Probably just a power outage. What the hell? I didn't realize the window was open up there. Somebody must have just climbed in or out of there. Okay, I can't see anything. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Sherman. <gasps> the forbidden door has opened. Mr. Sherman, are you in here? Stop playing games with me. What is this? What am I watching here? I have no idea. Ah! 
Mother of testicles. Is there anything inside here? Any notes? Mr. Sherman left any more notes here? Okay. Maybe we can turn the power back on somehow. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor a dozen of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrences. In recently strange, unpleasant, tingling sensations in the back of my head have started as well. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were traces of them. I'm sure they implemented, they implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Well, yeah. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. I, I, I oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he try to cut some crap out of his ear? A little jar was a strange, oh my God, he found that in the back of his head. That is insane. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant from behind his ear. Oh, wow. Definitely worth taking a photo of. Okay, let's get outside and see if we can find the source. Mr. Sherman? Mr. Sherman, are you back? Where did he go? Was that Mr. Sherman? The lights have changed. Oh my God. Oh. What is that? The lights have changed and one of them disappeared. There's a car alarm going off. Grass is floating. I don't know what to make of this. Okay, let's go back to our car. Okay, it stopped. <laughs> oh! Okay, Mr. Sherman. Run to the car. Oh my God, Mr. Sherman, I'm not fun. I'm not in the mood for your games. There's so much fog in my car. Let's go. Let's leave. Whew. Okay. We're safe. We're safe. We're in the car. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is happening? Holy crap, Apple. Take a picture. Oh, this means bad things. Red is not a good color. How do they know that we associate red? <laughs> ah! territory of Bracewood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. Guys, this was amazing. I really had a lot of fun with this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope I'll see you guys in another video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming.